Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Nissan Tiana 2 J32. Most of the complaints about the second generation Tiana are related to the transmissions used. It just so happened that the general course of the party at the Renault Nissan turned towards the use of variators. So, unlike the 4 speed automatic transmissions on the previous model, when changing the generation, the choice was made in favor of continuously variable transmissions. Before installing with 2.0 and 2.5 engines, the very common Jetco JF-011E was installed. This is practically a hit in the world of continuously variable automatic transmissions, but on Tiana it works mainly with 2.5 engines, which doesn't have the best effect on the resource. After installing in 2011, it was replaced by a more perfect box Jetco JF-016E. It is in many ways similar to its predecessor, but provides fewer problems from the hydraulics during the guaranteed mileage of 100-150 thousand kilometers. However, it has problems with the resource of the torque converter. According to the latest fashion, it has a partial blockage, which means increased wear in such modes. Well, Jetco JF-010E was still working with 3.5 engines, because it was the only transmission that could withstand this moment. Cars with the 2-liter engine for Asian markets, which are very rare in our country, were also equipped with the classic automatic transmission RE4F04A, but in the total mass they are almost lost. In addition, after the restyling the 4 stage was also changed on CVT. The cars are mostly front-wheel drive and there are no special difficulties with their transmissions. In 4-wheel drive cars, the rear-wheel drive clutch is added to the number of units with a limited resource, which can be burned with frequent runs on ice or races in the summer, but here the variator is more likely to fail than the clutch. And the clutch itself costs from 50,000 rubles new and even less used. All Jetco CVTs of this generation are based on a push type belt design and are highly refined designs. With careful operation and timely replacement of oil and filters, they are extremely reliable transmissions, capable of covering more than 150 to 100,000 km, even without manual repairs. Moreover, breakdowns usually manifest themselves long before a complete failure, and the efficiency of machines with such box is very high. But these transmissions really do not like many operating modes that undermine their resource. First of all, the load on the cold on an unheated variator, a slightly increased load leads to slipping and damage to the belt and cones. Overheating is no less harmful, especially with the constantly changing load. Extreme gear ratios prolong driving at low speed, for example when towing or in deep mud, as well as long drives at high speeds are harmful for this variator. Any jerks and shocks loads associated with torsional vibrations are also very painful. Even driving under the traction of rails and serious irregularities harms the belt and cones, not to mention off-road traffic, slippage, overcoming irregularities from the standstill and other load of this kind. As a result, the average CVT resource during Russian operation is two times more modest than in the USA or Japan, and there are fewer possibilities for restoration. Although medium repairs are usually not too expensive. If you do not delay with changing the belt, then everything will be limited to replacing the filters, some solenoids and in fact the belt. But if the oil was dirty and the loads were large and the belt and cones were badly worn out, then almost certainly the repair would be extremely expensive. And given the price for spare parts in our country, it would be completely unprofitable. Well, in addition to all of the above, the designs have individual weak points as without them. As a result, the purchase of Tiana always requires a thorough check of the condition of the transmission and during operation, you must constantly remember about the features of the CVT, otherwise the chances of repairs have increased significantly. Especially a lot of difficulties arise with the Jetco JF-010E, which was installed with 3.5 motors. It of course is much stronger than its Tiana brothers, but nevertheless, burned belt, crumbs in oil and torn filters on such machines are more the rule than an exception. Most of the owners do not deny themselves the pleasure of pressing on a slipper, once again punishing someone on the road and right at speeds over 150 on the highway. With runs over 150,000, a preventive belt replacement is more likely needed. Its friction notches wear out, and it begins to tr transmit torque worse, and the resulting slippage can damage the cones, after which the cost of repairs will increase by several times. With a 3.5 engine, warming up in place is a first measure, without it driving on snow-covered streets kills the variator very quickly. And certainly no starts without warming up at all, especially since the moment of such a motor easily causes slipping on slippery surfaces. After 100,000 mileage, it is recommended to check and repair, replace the main pressure valve, otherwise pressure jerks can damage the belt. With prolonged operation with contaminated oil, the oil pump and valve body plungers also suffer. If the oil hasn't been changed for a long time, 
Then after 100,000, most likely you will need to check the operating pressure and the complete belt head of the valve body. With a mileage of 150 to 100,000, a step pump usually requires replacement, and when working on dirty oil, it can fail much earlier. The Jetco JF011 E box works in more comfortable conditions, especially in the case of 2 liter engines. Its successor, Jetco JF 016 E, is in many ways similar to it, except that the belt in it is better protected from overloads and can, in theory, withstand a slightly higher mileage, and the torque converter lockup linings wear out faster, since they are loaded with a load during fast acceleration, as in classic automatic transmission the last generations. But on the whole, all that has been said is true for it. With careful maintenance, you can count on a mileage of 250,000 before replacing the belt, even in our conditions, unless the oil needs to be changed often at least once every 50-60,000 km. The main breakdowns during operations are associated with oil contamination and wear of the oil pump, pressure regulator and well body, as well as bearing wear. In early revisions of the process, problems with rotated bearings of the secondary shaft are possible, but the standard bearing life is about 160-100,000. If noises and vibrations appear, it is worth replacing them before damage to the cones and belt has occurred. With runs over 150,000, it is recommended to replace the filter, replace the four valve body solenoids and clean the pressure relief valve. The step motor also doesn't like dirty oil very much and easily breaks down if the time for its replacement is exceeded. The old RE4F04A four-speed automatic transmission is rare and the problems are mostly the same as on the Tiana J31. The main ones are blown when shifting first, second gears and the disappearance of the rear one. The total resource is over 200,000, but the box is simple and cheap to repair, and after repair it will take many more times for so many. The main engines of the Tiana are V6 2.5 and 3.5 liters of the VQ 25DE and VQ 35DE series, and the all-wheel drive cars are equipped with a 2.5 liter QR 25DE inline 4. Export cars from Japan may have a 2.0 QR20DE engine under the hood. All engines are quite reliable, especially the V6 engines, which are deservedly considered one of the best engines of the decade. Some difficulties are mainly associated with malfunctions of attachments and the weakness of the cooling system for 3.5 liter engines. In addition, CVTs are very gentle on engines. This must also be taken into account. So, runs of 250-350,000 km without capital are not uncommon, and half a million is quite a working mileage with quality service. In general, the VQ25DE and VQ35DE are excellent engines. Of course, in our conditions, their resource is less than they can do, can go in the USA or Japan, but still impressive. The main difficulties are poor winter startup and problems with the resource of catalyst, which are largely related to each other. When the catalysts fail, the piston grub resource is sharply reduced due to the ingress of ceramic ships into the cylinders. The oil pump is also rather weak. It really doesn't like the dirty oil and long drain intervals, so you shouldn't try to exceed the interval of 10,000 from replacement to replacement in city traffic and in the combined cycle, 15,000 if you count on long term operation. Otherwise, after 120 150,000 mileage, the oil pressure will drop to a minimum. Candles also need to be changed quite often. The motor is equipped with expensive iridium ones, but in practice it is useless, it is better to change more simple ones more often. The replacement operation may not be too easy, but it guarantees the normal engine power and increases the life of the catalyst. On motors 3.5 there is also a problem with vib vibrations. The motor cushions will have to be changed very often, once about every 40-50 thousand, if you need comfort in the cabin. With a 2.5 engine the problem is not so acute, the resource of these elements is much higher and they may not bother up to 150-200 thousand runs. But oil burnout due to a rather dense crankcase ventilation system or its contamination is a typical defect, so it needs to be regularly checked and cleaned. If the motor presses the oil on the running machines, then the measure is either in the wear of the piston group or in the panel clogging of the ventilation system, which is more likely. As befits an excellent motor, there are more specific problems. Once every 150 to 100,000, you need to change the chains and dampers and adjust the valves at least once in 100,000. And it will work and work. The main thing is not to overheat and change the oil regularly, that's in fact, that's all. The inline 4 QR25DE is far from being so trouble free and reliable, and in spite of its simpler design, it will be more expensive in operation. And the point is not only in the resource of the piston group, which is expectedly lower, about 200 to 150,000 before their first intervention, but also in the fact that the resource of the chains, phase shifters, and oil pump may be in the range of 100 150,000, and replacement will not come cheap. 
In addition, the peasant group at high mileage is prone to coking, and the engine begins to eat up the oil. Often, by 120-150 thousand mileage, the motor is already sent for a light overhaul due to stuck wings and wear of the timing. But this, as a rule, happens with hard plug operation. Usually, the resource is still higher. Of course, in general, everything is not too bad. Parts are inexpensive. Liners can be changed if they are with wear. And most of the problems with vibrations and uneven revolutions per minute are treated by flushing and cleaning the throttle and intake. The 2-liter QR20DE engine differs from it in large piston resource, but you shouldn't count on a miracle. It will definitely not pass more than 300,000, and most likely everything will end up with runs of the order of 150 to 100,000. While the problems are the same, not a very high time in resource, vibration, oil leaks and sensitivity to overheating. On this information about the problems of Nissan Tiana 2, J32 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.